Hello traders, welcome back to the channel. This is Umar with you. So I have the SEBI circular with me and let me tell you, explain some of the very key points in this video. Uh, uh, let me tell you outright, uh, SEBI has officially put a stop, full stop to retail traders. So most of the retail traders, I wouldn't, uh, retail traders will be out uh, after maybe uh, now uh, December 1st or uh, November 20th because they have uh, brought in lots of restrictions. Uh, they have have given uh, six key points uh, which I will explain in this video so that uh, I will explain as simple as possible so that you can understand what is going to happen. So that uh, six key points are upfront collection of option premium from buyers. <coughs> what is going to happen after this uh, rules are uh, kicking in uh, removal of calendar spread treatment, intraday monitoring, uh, monitoring of positional limits, contract size for index uh, derivatives, rationalization of weekly index derivatives, uh, product increase in tail risk coverage of uh, uh, of uh, options expiry day, on the day of options expiry. So these are the six key points which they have brought in. So what is going to be the impact uh, is what we are going to see in this video. Now the first thing is up, uh, upfront collection of option premium for option buyers. Now uh, if you can understand this is not a big deal uh, but some brokers used to let's say for example if you are having uh, 1000 rupees or let's say 2000 rupees you can buy options. Of course genuine brokers will collect upfront uh, margin like I don't want to name uh, uh, big genuine brokers will collect upfront margin but some brokers Brokers used to let's say if you want to buy option for thousand rupees, you are having only five uh, five hundred rupees or two hundred fifty rupees. Some brokers, I'm not saying every brokers, some brokers would allow you to buy options if you are having if you are not having the full premium. So that is going to stop now. Uh, effective, I'll tell the date let in the later part of the video. Uh, uh, that is going to stop, right? So you will have to have have lots of money you, uh, not lots of money you will have to have the full premium when you are buying options see I'm saying this is not a big deal because most of the traders most of the brokers are collecting upfront premium in terms of option buying but some brokers uh, I wouldn't I don't want to say their name some brokers are allowing uh, people to buy options if they are not having the uh, full option premium also right so this is the rule which is already in place but uh, some brokers who were giving this benefit leverage extra leverage to their clients this is going to stop now right then the second uh, thing is a removal of calendar spread treatment on expiry date rates so if you can understand if you know what is calendar spread let's say for example on expiry day you are selling some straddles and you are buying the same straddle in next expiry so you are going to get some uh, good uh, margin benefits right so let's say if you are uh, buying the uh, buying some hedges on the same expiry your margin is margin requirement is going to be very high but if you are doing on the next expiry you are going to get extra margin benefits so that also they have removed so this is one thing uh, uh, they have done so what is going to happen is if you are doing a calendar let's say you, when you are uh, selling or when you are hedging on the same expiry maybe you will write uh, 50 lots but when you are doing a calendar when you are buying hedges on the next week maybe you can sell 100 or 150 uh, lots right so this is what they have done right so ultimately uh, you have to have lots of money this calendar hedging uh, procedure or this calendar hedging margin is not going to be available going forward so the the effective dates uh, dates also i will mention in the later part of this video and the third thing is <coughs> Inter, uh, intraday monitoring of positional limit, uh, limits. So uh, brokers have been advised or clearing members have been advised to monitor all the positions. So already uh, your broker will be having an RMS system. So what is RMS system? Risk management system. So risk management system will be monitoring your position on a daily basis. Uh, 
when it comes to expiry date trade so this is a broker uh, internal issue we don't have to worry much about this uh, in case uh, and there is a point in this in case there is insufficient uh, fund or something i think uh, yeah uh, not insufficient fund they have told at least a four snapshot uh, <laughs> during the day so that's what i told this is broker's internal issue so we don't have to worry about that the next point is very important point which is contract size for index derivative right so what they have done is uh, uh, the current contract size is around 5 lakhs uh, 5 lakh current uh, stipulation is for such contracts of uh, to have a value between 5 lakh to 10 lakh this limit was set on 2015 that's what they have mentioned here now what they have done is uh, they have uh, they have increased the contract size from 15 to 20 lakhs right 15 to 20 lakhs they have doubled it so 5 lakhs to 20 lakhs uh, sorry 5 lakhs to 10 lakhs 15 lakhs to 20 lakhs which means they are going to increase the contract size let's say nifty uh, uh, nifty is around uh, 25 lots and bank nifty i believe is around 50 lots uh, uh, 50 lots this is going to increase uh, maybe 25 lots to around 75 lots or 100 lots and bank nifty may be going to 150 lots or uh, one, uh, 150 or maybe uh, 200 one lot i am saying right now nifty is one lot is 25 quantity it may increase to 75 or it may increase to 100 bank nifty is 50 now it may increase to 100 or it may increase to 150 now what happens is so if, if you want to sell one lot of bank nifty you will have to shred lots of money which means lots of people will be kicked up the kicked out this is a very very important point so they are increasing the lot size right they are increasing the lot size restricting people restricting people to come inside the market so this is a very very important thing so what will happen is there are going lots of people will be not able to maybe even if you are having a, let's say 10 lakhs or 15 lakhs maybe you will be able to sell only one lot something like that so we'll have to wait and see how this uh, things are going to get uh, get uh, uh, how these things are going to be implemented and what is going to be the uh, uh, how the market is going to change what is going to be the dynamic so we cannot say this in a single day we will have to wait and see what is going to happen so i in layman terms i will tell you so if you are a, a person with a low capital you are going to be kicked out of this market so that's what they are saying in this uh, paper right and the next thing is rationalization of weekly index derivative products so this is important what they have done is now we are having daily expiry right uh, monday we are having mid cap uh, tuesday we are having fin nifty then uh, wednesday we are having bank nifty then we are having uh, thursday we are having nifty then we are having uh, sensex uh, expiry and bank x expiry is on uh, monday i believe right i don't uh, trade on bank x but what they have done is if you are an uh, exchange in india you will have only one expiries in one week so nifty uh, nse has to decide whether they are going with nifty bank nifty or let's say uh, mid cap uh, nifty or uh, fin cap uh, fin nifty right they have to select one nifty only and in terms of sensex they have to select whether they are going to go for a sensex or bank x so this is what they have done uh, done right so these are the six uh, measures they have taken upfront upfront collection of option premium for buyers will be effective from 1st of february 2025 removal of calendar spread treatment on expiry day will be effective from february 1st 2025 intraday monitoring of positional limit will be effective from april 1st 2025 contract sizing of index derivative will be effective from november 20 2024 rationalization of weekly index derivative product uh, will be effective from november 2024 increase in tail risk coverage on uh, on day of option expiry so tail risk coverage i haven't told so what is that means they are going to uh, uh, tail risk coverage means elm they will say 
uh, extreme loss margin. So extreme loss margin, I think uh, they have increased by 2%, right? They, uh, so additional, yeah, additional uh, 2% they are going to collect as, uh, see, you are paying exposure margin, you are paying span margin. On top of that, you will have to pay 2% extreme loss margin. So ultimately, you have, you have to be super rich if you have to sell options in India. Right. So this is what they have done. I don't know what is going to happen in terms of uh, market. There is going to be lots of liquidity issue. Lots of people will be out of the market. Uh, you will have to be super rich if you have to trade this market. And even if you are rich, uh, <laughs> it is very it is going to be very hard to make money in this market. That's what they have uh, told in this uh, video uh, sorry told in this circular so uh, what can we say right uh, this is uh, not good for retailers uh, uh, what they are trying to do is they are trying to con uh, uh, save the retailers now if that is the case well, there are lots of fantasy gambling apps uh, which has no restrictions you go and see the newspaper uh, you can see daily one or two news where people uh, die because of losing in this fantasy gambling app, right? So this is not uh, good for retailers. That's what I told in the uh, first half of this video. This is not good for retailers. They are kicking out almost half of the retailers will be out. Uh, of course, the market will be stable. You will not see spikes. You will not see injections. But... Uh, lots of people will get out of the market is what they have done by issuing this circular right so let me know what you think about this on the comment session below i'll see you in yet another video till then take care bye